Have you heard of Lise Meitner? I might be saying this name wrong, so apologies if I am. Lise Meitner was a brilliant Austrian physicist and one of the very few women in physics in the 20th century. And she co-discovered nuclear fission, which is essentially the process of splitting atoms and that led to both nuclear power and atomic weapons. So without her, there would have been like no Manhattan Project and yada, yada, yada. And so what had happened was that she was working for decades with a German chemist named Otto Hahn. They were lab partners, co-authors, and they were buddies. And for years, they collaborated on experiments, most involving uranium atoms, okay? But Meitner was Jewish and Hitler rose to power in the 1930s and things got very dangerous very fast. She was stripped of her academic titles in Germany, which was par for the course for Nuremberg laws. And if you don't know, the Nuremberg laws banned Jews from doing a lot of things. And one of those things was civil service and academia. And in 1938, when Austria was annexed to Germany, she was officially in Yahtzee territory and at risk of arrest. So she fled. Her colleagues helped her escape in secret. Like she literally fled in the middle of the night and she went through Netherlands into Sweden where she lived in exile for the remainder of her life. And after she fled, her lab partner, Han, continued to do the work that they were doing together on his own. In late 1938, Han sent her the results of something he'd been working on because he couldn't figure it out. Basically, uranium atoms seemed to be splitting and he couldn't understand what was happening. Obviously, so this is like the simplified version because I am not a scientist, but Meitner and her nephew, who was also a physicist, whose name was also Otto, Otto Frisch, put the pieces together. They cracked the code, they figured it out. They were like, we are witnessing nuclear fission. But when Han published the discovery, that she made because he couldn't connect the freaking dots, he left her name out of it entirely, even though she was the one who explained it to him. So he published that in 1939 and in 1944, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry and Meitner wasn't even mentioned. But what's super annoying is that she was actually nominated multiple times and the committee kept being like, mm, all this is too theoretical. So she never won the prize herself. So yeah, basically she was a woman, she was a Jew and she was a refugee. All things that the scientific community didn't know how to acknowledge in the 1940s, apparently. So instead of giving her the Nobel Prize she deserved, they gave her like a little footnote somewhere somewhere, but she kept doing science and she refused to work on the atomic bomb and she never stopped pushing for peace. So not only was she an amazing genius woman in STEM, she was a pacifist. So we love to see it. 